Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. This is our part four of Colouring Fairy Tales by Emily Oberg. This will be the last part. I'm going to try and colour everything in. Um, apart from the background, which I'll do off camera later, because just, I've got a few ideas on that that I need to decide what to do with. As you can see, I've already coloured in this edge. Um, I am going to now just go through and colour all the areas that we're using, so that we have to do. So I can just go over and do the activation later. So the, the pearls, I'm just using a very light part of grey just to give it a bit of shadow because pearls although they're white they can be pink you know if they're fake they can be any color you want so welcome back um just so you know this is an adult channel we talk about adult topics on here um the videos are in no way shape or form made for or intended to be viewed by children some more pearls up here so i'm just gonna, like I said, i'm just gonna do it all the bits i need do and then we'll go over it with the um the water after how are you all are you all having fun how's your coloring going this month have you done much i haven't quite hit my normal my average my average is about 10 pages 10 coloring pages a month but um i think i'm a couple of pages down i think i'm on eight at the moment You'll be seeing this on Thursday the 27th. I'm filming this on Wednesday the 26th. Um, but I've still got a few days left. As you know, I do go right to the end of the month before I do my pictures for the month. Uh, because I think, you know, I want to show you everything I've done throughout the month, not just most of the month, I want to show you all. Now I've just got this white here and I'm just going to go over this pearl so it'll go a really light shade hopefully. When we activate it, we're just going to do that with all the pearls so sorry if you've not been able to see what I'm doing. Now, I have filmed my haul for the month. And you should have seen it by the time this one goes live. And I've also filmed my complete colouring supplies collection as well. And you'll see that um, in a few days, I would think. Oh, I've got a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. So if I start munching, please just ignore me. Now is this the colour I want? Nope. I think it's this orange one here. So next colour, I'm going to do the key now and I'm going to use golden yellow. And I'm going to use this for this and part of the watch. Not for the whole watch, but for part of it. Just for this, this key here. Which you can't see. This key here, this one. As you can see, I've done one of the mice. Oops, I'm just kicking the camera again because, you know, why not? I have not touched my diamond painting since I filmed the diamond painting video. So that's why I'm trying to finish off these whips that I've got so I can have either at the beginning of the month or at the end of this month. A quick, a little go on it, because it is, the background's all black, so it's really boring. I want to do, section it off, 
so I can uh, just put in bits basically. So what I might do with the watch is after I've finished today and once all the ink's dried is I might go over the clock face with the clear wing Castella just to give it a little coat of, of glistening stuff on there. But I haven't actually decided yet. And I might put a glitter gel pen on the little string. I'm, I might not. I probably won't actually. I think we'll do that piece of ribbon with this sort of brownie red colour which is mid mid vermilion. Let me just give it a sharpen. So yeah, filming the supplies collection was an interesting video because I haven't got much space to put it and it was everywhere. But it is filmed um, and it is as complete as can be. I haven't ordered any more. Um, since oh, pink. what was the other colour I used? It certainly wasn't that one, was it this one? Yeah, carmine pink. So for the mice mice's the meat the mouse the mice's noses I've used carmine pink. And I think I put that on their eyes as well because they do tend to have pink or red eyes, so. And then for their ears, if you can see it, I'll just put a little bit of um, this one here. That's scarlet pink, just a little bit. Just so that when we activate it, it'll drag, drag it out. So for the rest of it, I've used tan and amber. I don't know if I think this is amber. And just to give it fur, a fur like structure, I've just put it on in lines. Now I know that when I do that, it's not going to be in lines, but I can always go over it later with another one. And we've just done it just like that, and then we've gone over it in this light tan colour. that so you can see they're very very pale and we'll do the same with this mouse here so we've not done all of it with the amber I'm not very good at animals, I'll admit that is something I need to watch some tutorials on and have a practice. That doesn't mean I don't like colouring them, I really do, but I'm just not very good at it. So that's those two, put those back. So we want a... Uh... I'm use Payne's Grey. For the, the scissors, just here. And the handles can be any colour you want. So the handles I'm going to do in a deep blue colour. What colour is this? No, not that one. We've used that one already, so that's what this one is. Deep indigo, that's a nice colour. Just give it a shot. Just uh, do that. 
handles and stuff. That. We'll do that colour in there. And then what we'll do is we'll use a different colour for the rest of it, which would be, let me pull it out, Lagoon. I've used this colour before, which is why it's a bit scratchy. So on the watch face, we do need a bit of colour. on here let me show you just in these each different one every other one will just put a bit of color in so that you can see that it is a pattern around the edge like that and uh, yeah then we'll do a madder brown just using different colours for different things, you see. I'll just put that on here. I'm just trying to use the different colours because I've not used these pencils very much. And I'm just going to put that on the inside there. thinking at the moment. I think we'll just do that with the, the glitter. So I'm just going to sip on my tea. We've got a needle and the buttons to do. And then we can go in and paint it all. So let's just go and get um, paints grey again because that's a nice colour. And there's mummy handy just knocking over all the things. Is the right one? Paints grey? Yeah. So here's the needle. Right, so all that's left to actually colour on here now are the one, two, three, four, five buttons. And we can do these in different colours. I did want to do an orange one. So I've got two shades here that I like. Um, one is actually called Tangerine. And the other one is burnt orange, so we'll use those. We're going to sharpen. They got nice points on them. Just makes it a little bit easier to um, do it. Uh, we'll do this one here in tangerine, just like that. Oh, I've missed this mouse. See, I always miss bits. We were saying this on the comments, weren't we, about how. It's so easy to miss things. And how uh, I miss things quite a lot. <laughs> so, which is very, very, very frustrating. But that's all right, it won't take two minutes to do the mouse. That's that button done. Put those two away and we'll get the colours we used on the mouse. Um, which was, I think, this one. Yeah, Carmen Pink for his nose. And his eyes. Of course, he's got eyelids, which we're just leaving. And then we used this one, was it? 
no on that one. Oh dear, what colour was it? Where was it? Was it this? This one. Scarlet pink for just a little bit in the ears. And you can't see what I'm doing probably, so just a little bit, just so that it'll fade out. Then we go back to our tan and amber. Except for that's not even uh, any of them. Wrong ones is these two here. I might put a bit more colour on the mouse actually, just to... That's mustard and that's amber. So that's tan. There we are. See, even I'm not brilliant. I know I'm terrible at this sort of stuff. He's a bit, bit, bit in there. I should have done him first, really. Since he's not the easiest place to colour. bit of one of these brown colours. And I think this one which is just baked earth just to give them a bit of extra colour around these ears. Just make them look a bit more mouse like. There we go, there's that one. It is hard. I mean, like I said, I'm not very good at animals. I don't do animals. Um, so I'm just doing this one here. I'm going to have to go and change my battery because this battery is now dying. It's not dead yet, but it is dying. So I'll just finish this mouse off. And I'll change the battery and be back. There we are. We're back again. I'll just zoom it out a bit because we've just done this little mouse down here. And we're just going to put some of this nice colour on this one. And then we've got this, this one, we've done that one down there, there's just this one up here now. on that one back to the buttons so we'll have a we'll have a blue one I think so this is deep blue and we'll do this one deep blue so can you see this one no it's over there right Bright blue, just to mix it up a bit. There we go, that's that one done. Then we'll have um, down here. We've got one where you can't see. It's so difficult. There's so much stuff on the table. Let me just turn this down there. And that's better. That is much better. We're going to do this one now. Um, and we'll do it in a sort of... Uh, mm, let's do it in a light, light green colour. With that one and that one. So, there. So what I'll do is I'll do... 
when I do the water in a minute we'll have a, a look at it. Yeah, and then we've just got the two up here, I believe. Now, excellent. So that one goes back there, that one goes back there. I think doesn't really matter. And I think we'll have a purple one next, which will be this. Now I can't see because I've moved it like that. Now it's two. I really must. Let's pull this back a bit. No, push it forward a bit. See, I'm not very good at this. Get myself a um, tripod for the phone so I can just attach it to the thing and I'm done with it because this is really, really difficult. So I'm going to use these two two reds or reddish colours, crimson and can't see what that says. Shiraz, oh, like the wine. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. So we'll do that one like that and then we'll just do. There's it. And then we'll do this bit with the Shiraz. It's nice. And the last thing that I actually have to colour is the trim on her dress. And for this I'm going to have to pull this back so that I can focus it in. And we'll need that for when we're actually colouring it with the, the pencils. I'm going to have a biscuit, excuse me for a second. Calm in pink, the same as the noses on the mice for this. And try not to crunch too loudly. There we are. So you'll be seeing this on Thursday. I'm actually filming this late Wednesday night. And tomorrow, Friday, I've got the day off. Work again. Because we were hoping to take Jennifer into Cardiff to get her feet measured at Clark's buy her some shoes and visit the Spillers the world's oldest record shop um, it depends on the weather the weather is supposed to be atrocious again over the weekend so I really don't know um, there, that's that done I'm just going to switch this off, put the pencils away, and I'll be right back. Okay, pencils are away, so we're going to start. Oh, I have actually missed a cup, missed a little bit. But it's okay, because the colour I want is just here. And that's just this trim on this little teacup, which I'll do now. Yep. Now they have forecast snow for the area, but at the moment I have not seen any, which is good. I mean, I personally like snow, but it does make things very difficult, you know, getting around and, you know, people struggle. Oh, but I haven't seen any yet. The last time we had any significant snow here was February 2018. So it was literally just after Jennifer was born. She wasn't even a month old. And uh, we could not get out of the house. 
I mean, I was on maternity anyway, so I didn't need to think about going to places like work or anything. I think Paul managed to get to work. I'm sure the trains were running, kicking the camera again. But I know that it wasn't, it was quite deep. I think there might have been a couple of days where he didn't go in. But um, I remember that uh, it was so cold and the snow was so thick that the heating stopped working because the way the heating works is that there's a little outflow pipe and if it gets cold and freezes, the heating stops. So there was me panicking because I got this like two week old baby and they'll bleed neat. I'll just got the top, I'll pick that up afterwards. Um, so I was, you know, I was really worried about her, but she was fine. All that happened was I, instead of um, trying to sleep upstairs, I brought her down here in her Moses basket and I slept on the sofa and I put the electric fire on and we had some electric heaters from when we moved in because when we moved in there was no heat at all, the, the gas had been turned off there was no gas meter or anything so we had no heating, no hot water for a while while we got that sorted with the gas company so we bought some like some heaters and we used those and yeah it was fine so we just had those on when it was really cold in the snow but we haven't had any significant snow here where I am since so Paul Paul and Jennifer doesn't really know what it is she hasn't seen any yet and I would like it to snow so she can go out and play with it while she's little I mean she's only two so if we get it next year that'll be fine because she'll be should be three then. But I, I can remember playing in the snow when I was little and we always remember it as being much better when we were kids but I'm pretty sure it wasn't much different to be fair. So I'm still not sure whether this is like a hair comb or what. I think it might be. So just that sort of goldy colour. It's really weird the way that the the bars in it are. So you see, it's very hard for me to show you this bit in here, but I am trying my best. And I'm also trying not to hit any of the other colours while I'm doing it. I'm just working my way around the book. So I'll do this rose, rose next. So, yeah. I've enjoyed this one, but because we've used the ink tents, it's taken a heck of a long time. Um, time I would rather be spending doing other pictures, but it's also nice to use a medium we don't use very often. And to be fair, I hardly ever use my ink tents, and I think it's a shame because they are a lovely set of pencils. But I am, I'm in a set now, I'm starting to struggle because I'm getting tired. Because of course I've been up since 10 to 6. And to be fair, I slept fine last night. Sometimes I don't sleep very well at all. And I end up coming down for an hour at 2 o'clock until around 3 or even 4 if it's really bad. And, um, and then go back up afterwards. But uh, yeah a moment yeah that's how I wanted my pearls to look hey they look good that is right on perfect can you, can you see yeah you can actually good um so yeah I can't sleep very well some nights so but last night I slept okay which was nice Yeah, it is sometimes hard. I'm tired now. Um, it's quarter to 11 at night and I've been up since about 10 to 6. I was awake a bit in the night, but not enough for me to think, ah, oh, do you know what, I've got to get up. I thought that I woke up, go to sleep, went back to bed and stuff like that. So I don't know how long this video is going to be because I've not even 
time, timed it because obviously I've changed the battery and done some other bits and pieces. So we're just going to do this orange button now. And it's nice to use as many of the colours as possible so we can see what they actually look like when they've been used, which is something I haven't really done yet. I have used the ink tents before, but only certain bits of colours. For instance, I started doing the title page of Johanna Basswood's Enchanted Forest with it and I've still not finished it, so it's something I really want to get on and do. So we'll just do this little mouse's red nose and his little eyes. I'll do his ears now. So all I'm going to do is just put that up like that. So it's kind of a pinky colour. the rest of him. There we are. So we have got a bit of lineage underneath which is quite nice. We can get rid of it if we want to. I think he's looking rather nice actually. He's a very sweet little mouse. So like I said I'm not brilliant with the ink tents. They are, although I've had them for a while, there's something I haven't used because Unless I'm filming, I like to sit and colour on the sofa. Um, sometimes when Jennifer's here, sometimes not. Obviously, it's not something I can do. Colour with intensive Jennifer's around because I'm having water. It'd be everywhere. But with the, you know, like I could, I guess, but I like to make it as easy and relaxing as possible. And I just don't think colouring with water medium would be very relaxing on the sofa so I haven't used them unfortunately. I do want to try and finish the Johanna Basford page so I will keep them out and um, maybe there's not much left for me to do on it to be fair so I might try and finish it off at the beginning of next month or even the end of this month but I can't say at the moment where it will be. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. EB's going okay, it's slowed down a bit now, it's the end of the month, people are waiting for payday. Generally, January, February, March are fairly quiet for sales. I'm in profit for the month again, I'm in profit for the tax year. I am going to use some of my profits uh, this month to buy some clear garment bags for storing clothes in. It's easy to, to number them then. And also um, another four drawer container for putting packaging supplies and things in. And also my computer games that I'm selling can go in there. And then yeah and it's just really the the bags um and some sticky labels because i use the labels for um i'm trying to think of what it's called oh for putting the the this is what they call a skew number it's basically this it's a stock take number so that when somebody buys something i know exactly where to locate it it's uh, a because sometimes you might put three black dresses or three black skirts into one box. If you just put them in, you would never, it would be hard to find the correct one. So I number the bags, say um, A1, A2, A3, A4 and so on. So if I sell A4, I know I've got to go to box A and find number four. If I sell uh, T7, I've got to go to box T and find number seven. It's that, it's that simple and that's why I do it and I just use these cheap tiny teeny tiny little labels. They work out really well. They didn't cost very much at all. They're a few pounds. Um, so we're just working our way around now. We'll soon be finished, which is not. It's nice because we've done. It's taken a long time to uh, 
Okay, there's four parts is unusual. We usually try and finish things in two or three tops. Two is preferable, three is okay. But I think this has been enjoyable. I've enjoyed it, I hope you have. Obviously we haven't finished yet. So. Right, I've got a glass of water here that I just dip my brush in and then I wipe it on a piece of kitchen towel just to get the previous colour off. So that's what I'm doing when I'm not on cat when you can't see the brush. I'm I'm dipping it, wiping it, and going on to the next colour. So the next bit is these pearls. These won't be as dark, but they'll be fine. So hopefully next month we'll have some good profits again. But you know, like I said, January, February, March tend to be quite quiet for most people. I sell clothes mostly, not completely. So that can be a quiet time over, you know. But I've also been selling a few computer games. I've been doing too bad. So. Like I said, as long as overall for the tax year I'm in profit and I haven't lost money overall, I'm happy. Now, I may have lost money on particular items, but overall I'm in profit and that's what cash accounting, which is what we do, is. Let's do this one now. Or can we see that little button? Yes, you can just about see it on the corner. There we are. I'm just going to do this. Do the inside. There we are. We are getting there very slowly. It is it is taking a while. Like I said, using ink tents is a slow process. And I've rushed parts of this. If I was doing this myself, it'd probably take even longer. But I am one of those people who can't spend forever on a page because I'll get bored. And if that happens, it'll just get left. And if it gets left, I hate that because I hate having a ton of whips, as you well know. I do have whips and I'm planning on trying to get rid of them this year. So for instance, the Enchanted Forest one. I really want to finish that at some point in the next month or so. Because there's not much of it left, it's just the title page. It literally is just the title page I've been doing. And it looks really nice done with the ink tents. And I might want to use them and the watercolours and other things actually in the whole book. So it might be a slow old one. I've still got World of Flowers to finish, which we were using the W. H. Smith watercolours on. Yeah, still haven't finished it. We started that on camera, so... Again, I'll keep all the water stuff out and I'll try and do it over the next month, try and get those two finished. There we are. Those pearls look quite nice, actually. When I finish this, I'm gonna make another cup of tea. I might do a bit of diamond painting because we're nearly finished this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until it's dry before I do the background and I haven't quite decided how to do the background yet but I'll let you know obviously when we do our final wrap up for the month because I will make sure this is finished for um, completed pages of February. Wow. I can't believe it, we're almost, almost in March. And it's crazy that this year is already almost, almost a quarter of the way through the month, the year. That's crazy. Can't get over that. I am starting to flag now. So it won't be much longer before I finish, but I'll wait till this is dry and then I'll do the the background and the clock face, which like I said, I'm going to use the um, Winker Cellar on it, probably the clear one, to just give it a bit of a shine. And that'll be it on that. 
I, I do like it. I think it looks lovely. Um, let's just finish off this very last mouse. I'm going to actually turn it all the way around like this. And he's upside down. So we can finish him. We'll just do his ears like that. We are nearly finished. It's taken us a while. But, um, yeah. There, I think that's everything done. Oh no, I'll tell you what we haven't done. We haven't done the trim on her dress. On the dress. We'll just turn this round and we'll do the trim on the dress and then that will be it. See what I mean? This is how you miss things. You think, oh, I haven't done that bit yet. And it is just literally activating this little bit of pink on her thing. Now we could have left that white but I think no. We want it to look nice and very similar to the roses but not the same colours. There we go and then we'll do this bit. Uh, the intense does dry quite quickly so if you are using them You've got to be quite quick with moving the ink around. Well, there we are. We're nearly done. There we are. Just this little bit of trim to do. There we are, all done. So, let's have a look. Obviously I've still got the background to do and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with that. I'll do the Wink of Stella first and then I'll have a look. But uh, there it is. I might use the Pebbles Chalks. Or I might leave it white. What do you think? Should I do a background? Should I do the background or should I just leave it like it is? I quite like it the way it looks actually. If I did the background, what colour do you think it should be? Let me know, because I'm always open to your ideas. Um, but that's it. That's the end of the picture from Fairy Tales by Emily Oberg. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Our next colour and catch up, or colour and chat, will be in Kelly Horton's book, Storybook Darlings. I haven't decided yet which one we're going to do. Although I was... I want to do the, the Wizard of Oz one, but I'm also really scared of doing the Wizard of Oz one. I might do the Robin Hood one. Um, I might do the Wicked Queen from Snow White. Rapunzel's quite nice. So I'll tell you what, I'll move this out of the way and we'll have a quick look at the pictures I'm considering and you can help me decide which one we should do next. So this is a book story book darlings by Kelly Horton. So let me think. So let me just flip very quickly. So that's sort of like your Snow Queen Frozen one. I like that, but I don't want to do that one. Three bears, I want to do Goldilocks and three bears. Um, so that's the Robin Hood one, or the Robin one. And then... Let me just have a look. That's the Wizard of Oz one. I really like that one. And then there's the Wicked Queen from Snow White. Rapunzel Red Riding Hood 
So out of those ones where I've given you the title, which one do you want me to colour in? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified as and when a new videos become available. I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.